Strictly Comics is now accepting books for pressing and cleaning services. For deals and promotions, go to Facebook at Strictly Comics. Click the services tab for pricing and get a free quote. What's up, everybody? It is Edwin here for Strictly Comics, and goodness gracious, I got so... I, I kid you not, I literally have a long box of books to show you guys, but there's no way on earth i'm going to show all of them in this one video so uh over the course of probably the next four weeks i'll be doing videos of showing you guys what i picked up this weekend because almost everything that you guys are going to see in the next four weeks are going to be what's going to be for sale in my fourth affordable auction come august the 13th that's a sunday 7 p.m. Eastern. You're not going to want to miss it. It's tons of fun. Um, and I'm actually, because I got so many things to, to, to sell that I come across this weekend, I will probably do a second, another auction two weeks later. Just because uh, at this point I'm starting to see that maybe doing them once a month just might not be enough because I know a lot of people enjoy it. A lot of people have actually... Uh, commented and uh, uh, sent me messages wanting me to do them. You know, I, uh, some one guy wanted to do like on a weekly basis. I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. But so I'm thinking about going to a bi-weekly uh, basis, and and that's looking like it's probably going to happen here real soon. So keep in mind, over the next four weeks is going to be books that I will have in my next live auction Sunday, August the 13th. 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, uh, this video is going to be like a lot of fun stuff. I got a few kind of, you know, semi key issue books that I'm going to show, but a lot of it is really fun stuff, stuff that I've never seen before in my entire life, stuff I've never come across before. Uh, but then again, I was out of the comic book collecting scene for quite a while. Um, one of the things I do want to say is. I'd say like 90% of everything that I'm going to show you guys are newsstands. Um, I met some guys uh, over Facebook, Nerds of Anarchy, the Facebook page. Quick shout out to uh, Scott and Andy. Um, they had come across a huge collection from a guy who I guess he owned a, uh, a small grocery store, or small um, marketplace type of store and he was a speculator during the whole 90s scene when speculating was booming. This guy had double, triple, quadruple of everything you could think of. And because he owned the joint, he, well, he paid for the books, but like he didn't have to pay retail like how we, what we would pay for. Um, so he had all kinds of stuff. And like I said, everything I want to show you guys are 90% are newsstand probably 98 percent newsstand copies so let's go ahead and get started um this i didn't know anything about i just thought it was kind of a fun book to have what the uh it's a number one kind of flip through it very entertaining very humorous really really fun uh 80s and 90s stuff so i i grabbed that uh this right here it's nothing, nothing special. It's just, uh, it was a number one. He had it. I went ahead and picked it up. Next, I grabbed uh, this. Um, and also, guys, let me just say this before I go any further. All these books are near mint. Ne unread and near mint. I kid you not. Unread and near mint. I I'd probably say 80% of everything I'm about to show you guys over the next four weeks We'll probably uh, get 9.6 or 9.8 if they went to CGC or CBCS. So uh, I just picked this up just because it was number one. You know, no big deal. Um, but this was one of the things that really kind of was fun to me. Uh, I didn't even know they had this in a comic book. <laughs> Police Academy. I went ahead and picked up number two. I went ahead and picked up number three. And I didn't see number four, but I picked up the number five. And I think he had a few more, but I didn't I didn't think it was necessary to get 
all those. I mean, these are just really, really fun little type of reeds. So, so yeah. I also saw, I also saw this. Um, I had no idea these guys had a comic book. <laughs> I had no idea. Couldn't believe it. Kid and play. I mean, you know, I, I see some of the hip hop variants and stuff that Marvel's now doing. Um, so that's partly why I thought I would show this. Um, a lot of people who kind of grew up with these guys in the late '80s, early '90s know who these guys are. Uh, it, it, this book is is in near mint now. One of the reasons why I'm showing this is because a lot of celebrities, a lot of unemployed celebrities, I guess you could say, people who are not really working anymore. Um, such as, you know, these guys. I think uh, uh, Play is a born-again Christian. I think he's a preacher or something like that now. But um, the reason why I'm showing this is because, like, these books would be good to have, like, signed. If if people out there are just fans of these guys, great books to have signed and slabbed, you know, just to preserve those memories, you know. Uh, next, I picked up this. Radioactive Man number one. Not a. I, I like The Simpsons, but I'm not like a big Simpsons comic book collector. Same thing with like Beavis and Butthead and a lot of those uh, cartoons that we grew up in the in the 80s and 90s with. But because this is a newsstand, this does not glow in the dark. The uh, explosion in the background on the direct editions glow in the dark. This one does not. Um, I don't think this demands much, but it's still it's a number one. And then I also found this, uh, again, it's a newsstand. The, um, direct edition, I think is like a, like a silver foil. Uh, but I went ahead and picked it up anyways, just because it's a number one. I thought it'd be a good book to have. Um, and then I also found this newsstand copy of long shot. Number one, uh, this has the first appearance of not only long shot, uh, but it has the first appearance of uh, Spiral, the six-armed lady that we are all familiar with from the uh, X-Men and the New Mutants in the late 80s, early 90s. So you got first appearance of two characters here. Uh, so I was glad to have that. And I got number four. And then he also had number number five. So I went ahead and picked uh, those up. Guys, real quick, uh, make sure you check us out every Tuesday over at JLS Comics. We have Tuesday Comic Conversation with myself, uh, Jesse from JLS Comics, Justin from Exile State Comics, and Boston Chris from Buckshot33. Um, I have a feeling we're going to have some pretty good things to discuss this Tuesday, every Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, we got a lot of topics to discuss with all the San Diego comic book news that came out. Goodness gracious, have y'all seen that new Infinity War trailer? If you haven't, go see it. There's some leaked trailer footage that is out there. It is sick. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, this was a part of the same lot. Uh, first appearance of Microchip. Um, this one was in much better condition than the previous one that I had. And again, it's a newsstand. And then he had another copy, so we went ahead and grabbed that. Um, also, I found this right here. Uh, newsstand copy of Sleepwalker number one. I know that the hype for this guy has pretty much died down, but it's still a first appearance. I'm actually still glad to have it because I think even shops and even my LCS wanted to worth like 10 to $20 for this book. And there's just no way I was paying for that. Um, just because it's a 90s book, right? Now, this book slabbed in a 9.8 condition carries anywhere between a 50 to, you know, 60, 70 dollar price tag. But, um, hey, it's a first appearance. I'm kind of late to the game, but better late than never, right? Um, also, I found two copies of this. Couldn't believe it. Um, two copies of Darkhawk number one. Uh, I never had this book as a kid. I, I, I think I first got on board with Darkhawk somewhere in the late teens and 20s. Because I remember having 25. 
Um, but hey, it's the first appearance of Dog and their newsstand copies. So um, I may get these slabbed. These may be in the auction, or I may just get them slabbed. I'm not 100% sure. I think these books slabbed at a 9.8 carry about a $150 price tag. Actually, $150 to $200, even, even after the acknowledgement that Darkhawk was not going to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy that we all thought he was going to be in. Uh, because they produced a toy line of Guardians of the Galaxy, and, and part of that toy line was a Darkhawk figure. And so people started to speculate that Darkhawk was going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy, and unfortunately he wasn't. So, uh, so yeah, I picked those up. And then I remember this cover as a kid. I just went ahead and grabbed this because uh, it just had that Wolverine look. <laughs> just, it's a really sick, cool cover. Uh, but I just picked it up just for the fun. Um, so I went ahead and saw this. I think this was the only one that he had. A Hong Kong Fooey. This book isn't in the best shape, but I'll press it before I put it up my auction in a few weeks. But I was really surprised that this book still carries about a you know anywhere between a fifteen to, to twenty five, actually even as high as thirty dollar price tag on eBay, depending on condition, of course. Um, once I'm done with it, this would easily be a very fine. I, I, I would I want to say somewhere between a, a very fine minus to very fine plus somewhere around there. Um, but you know, a lot of people love Hong Kong Fui from back in the day. And I guess that's the reason why this book carries such a kind of such a high demand. This isn't his first appearance, I don't think, but I guess people just like the character. And then I just kind of picked up some random Silver Surfer stuff. I know Silver Surfer and almost anything Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet is kind of hot. So I just went ahead and kind of picked these up. You know, nothing nothing special, um, but just some Thanos and Infinity-related comics, so I went and grabbed those. Um, I also saw this, which I got, which I got two copies of. Um, this isn't, like, prior to the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet, but it's the same year. It's actually a few, maybe only, like, a couple, two, three months after so, you know, early Infinity Gauntlet stuff, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this also, like I said, will be a part of the auction on August the 13th. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, they're newsstand copies. So really, really cool, fun stuff to have. Guys, make sure you check me out on Instagram. Um, go to Instagram at Strictly Comics, all one word, comics with an X at the end of it. Um, I'm always pulsing really cool stuff. Uh, probably be doing another raffle here really soon. Uh, but right now I'm just promoting a lot of the uh, pressing business that I've uh, started to get into. Uh, just a service, not really business, but just a service to offer to people who want to get their books um, in better quality condition and higher value. So, uh, so yeah, the Infinity Crusade. Um, these books are starting to get up there, guys. I mean, I think right now the value of these books are probably around a little bit more, maybe a dollar each over cover price, which says a lot because these are 90s books. But it, like I said, if you've seen the trailer, you should know what to expect in upcoming Marvel movies. So um, I got number one. I got number two. I got number three, number four, number five, and number six. So I got the complete Infinity Crusade run. Um, and like I said, these will be for sale at my next auction as well. But really cool books to have. I mean, I hope to read these before I sell them. I'm actually a little bit more than halfway with Infinity Gauntlet right now, but I really want to read this stuff so I know what to expect going into the movie that comes out next year. So yeah, I picked those up. All right, so um, that's not the price 
that I paid for it. These are just some stickers that the uh, previous owner had that I actually really need to take off. So, um, but Iron Man number three, it's not in high grade or anything. It's a, you know, pretty low grade copy, but you're talking about Iron Man number three. Okay. Really, really fun, cool book to have. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, and then I grabbed Iron Man number 15. Um, this one has some kind of uh, stuff over here on the side. I don't know what that is. If that's nail polish, glue, or something. But, um, I mean, these are low-grade copies, guys. I mean, it, it's considered restoration with that stuff that's on there. So, But, you know, I'm looking just to have the stuff uh, uh, either in my collection or to sell. I mean, I'm not getting low-grade stuff like this to get slabbed or anything like that. And there's nothing key about them, so it's fine. But one thing I will mention is that this actually is the last uh, 12 cent issue. Uh, in number 16, it goes to 15 cents. So this is the last 12 cent Iron Man uh, comic book. So these also will be a part of the upcoming auction as well as this. Found 185, got kind of a mini run here. 185, I found 186, and these are high grade. These are all near mint, near freaking mint newsstand copies. 187. Really cool stuff here, too. 188. 189. And then it jumps to. 193 so uh i got all these over the weekend and um really fun stuff like i said they're all near mint so beautiful beautiful covers beautiful comics here uh unread material here <laughs> definitely that's for sure uh but that's it you guys that's all that i got this week uh thank you so much for checking me out um thank you also for subscribing uh make sure you ring that bell so you get notified every time we upload a video um make sure you like share comment uh and subscribe like i'd mentioned uh keep god first in your life and enjoy your comic books and until next time you guys have a blessed week peace